Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, sorry it's been so long since our last update. Uh, the holidays and weather have kind of uh, thrown us off a little bit. And mainly the weather right now because it's so cold and humid out that it makes it difficult for us to work with our materials uh, and because they're kind of sensitive to that. So uh, I figured in the meantime I'll do a quick video on uh, what I get a lot of emails on, which is how did we get our 3D model into a full scale model and what was the process and so I kind of wanted to show some of that and so that's what I'm going to do now I have our uh, 3D model of our car um, which is pretty much has everything in it. it's kind of uh, all-in-one uh, rendering of the car and this shows us you know everything's pretty much animated in here and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a, a portion of the car let's see which sections I take let me just start with the the front of the car and I want to take the hood and front uh, bumper and I'm going to isolate these into a uh, simpler um, model that's easier to handle and work with uh, so here it is with the uh, the front hood section of our car and it's in sections as you can see there's the top hood and then this is the bumper area with the headlights and the front uh, uh, vent louvers and things. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up and ungroup it. And you'll be able to see that uh, there are two halves to the car. There's a left and right side. And the reason for that is because any changes we make to one side get duplicated to the other side to keep the symmetry um, just perfect. So with what I'm going to do with slicing the car up uh, into uh, sections, I'm going to get rid of half of the car and we're going to just work with one half of the car right now and I'll explain that as I, as I go. Um, what I need to do now is uh, create our first section to the car. So I'm going to center this to front and zoom in on it a little bit. And then I'm going to take our section tool and we're going to create a section that's just a little bigger than the car. And uh, then we're going to align this section up because it doesn't start off uh, aligned and then we're going to move it over the car zoom in on it and as you can see uh, if I take this uh, section and I'm oops wrong um, <laughs> if I I did it again where's the section at? okay if I take the section ah uh, okay if I can select it geez so as I move this section down down the car you can see that it 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 kind of takes a, a slice or, or it's highlighting a, a, a slice of the car that it will take so as I move this up I'll show you um, that's going to be its first slice what I'll end up doing is placing a, a slice every 4.25 inches down the length of the hood or the length of the car uh, and the reason why the reason why it's 4.25 is because we're going to use four inches of foam in between each section of wood but then also we have to compensate for the thickness of the wood which is uh, 0.25 or a quarter inch uh, in our case and so what I'll end up doing is making a, an array and the, I'll set the array at 4.25 and I'll, I'll do 14 sections and do a little preview and you can see it pops up with uh, 14 sections on the car and so these are all sections and you can kind of see, I don't know with the video if you're going to be able to see a lot of this in detail or not, but uh, each little yellow line will be a sliver uh, taken from the car. What we need to do is we need to process one of these and we'll go over here and we'll create a shape from it and we can do that with another one and you'll want to do this for all of them one at a time basically. And then what you're left with is a uh, little sliver of the car. So I'm going to delete that and then we're going to take the sliver that I just created and I'm going to move it out to the side. Alright, so now you can see that that's the, that's the contour and the shape of that section of the car and this is what will end up being the cut line to the car. And we'll, like on our car, I think there was probably 30 or so uh, sections down the whole length of the car and then another 30 sections across the front and across the back that were all one to two inches apart uh, for a lot higher detail and some of those more uh, contoured and, and curvy sections of the car. Okay so just kind of give you an idea that's a simple um, section removed from the car 
Okay, so here's our uh, uh, other model with all of the various sections in the car that are taking that, that are going to be taken from uh, the main 3D model. And uh, also what we did is we added some measurement um, models. <laughs> and so the measurement models that are highlighted now, uh, these go through the whole car and they also go through each section uh, that you see at the top here. And so when I process the sections and create the final shape, it also creates a shape of these measurement marks. And what that's good for is for helping us to align each panel uh, exactly where it needs to be. It also gives us uh, measurement marks um, as we we're working on the car and stuff that we can use so that we know how far something is from the center of the car. Just give you an idea, if I take one of these panels and let's, let's select the front one and I move it out from the car and let's uh, let's center it okay so this would be our basically our 4x4 four four, uh, sheet of wood that's a quarter inch thick and this all the little tiny yellow lines are one inch uh, measurement points and then uh, the, the outline of the car as you can see here is where we will use for cut line and then what we do is we take this into uh, Adobe Illustrator or something like that and we process it a little further and then this file can be exported out for a CNC machine to cut or water jet or you can print it out onto a plotter and and use that to to cut your wood pieces out and then you, you put your two pieces of, of uh, 4 by 4 like 4 foot by 4 foot pieces of uh, MDF wood uh, together and then you print only on one side uh, or, you, or you CNC only on one side and what it'll do is it'll cut out both halves of the car and then all you have to do is unfold it and then you have two symmetrical sides of the car because a lot of people are wondering how did we get everything so symmetrical well that's one way I mean otherwise you can CNC a whole big giant 4x8 piece of wood but that's just a lot to work with it's, it's kind of difficult and this makes it easier it's a little cheaper and, and you know there's a lot of advantages of doing it this way so <clears throat> so what I did after this is we processed it we put it into a PDF file uh, for printing uh, onto giant plotter paper and uh, and then this was applied to our pieces of wood um, the first go around you can also do like I highly recommend like CNC and water jet and stuff like that but as you can see this is uh, the cut line of the car this is the outside section piece of the car and these are our measurement marks and you know I've placed them everywhere you can do as many as you want but I just wanted to have some in kind of in the the, the bottom and the top and the middle um, so that we always had a mark to measure from somewhere and these are some vertical marks and then this is the the very center vertical line of the uh, uh, section and then this would be the baseline um, of the section also and and then here there's even a little piece of our frame so that we know that we can cut around that and allow room so that we can actually put the frame into uh, the wood form as we begin to, to build it. Um, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, I'll try to put some pictures on this or whatever to show you some of the uh, uh, work that we did in the beginning.